Hello, you are welcome to Serene Arts, a channel where we promote smartphone graphic design. If you are new here, please consider subscribing. And if you are old here, thank you so much for coming back. So, in today's tutorial, we'll be learning how to design a simple book cover using our smartphone. Alright, so there are a few apps that you can use to design book cover. You can use Canva, you can use Adobe Spark Post, you can use Pizzle App. Alright, so in this tutorial, I'll be using Pizzle App for this tutorial. Okay, so without wasting much time, let's jump into it. <music> So there are a few things that you need to actually start your work using either, either Spark Post, Canva or Pizzle Lab, alright? So you first of all need your book title, perhaps your client has already given you the book title, alright? So when you've gotten the book title, you need to know the color that you are going to work with, which is the brand color, you need to know it. And you also need to know the dimension of your book cover. Some books are in form of square, some are in form of rectangle, yeah. So you need to know those things before you start your work, all right? Once these things are in place, then we can go ahead and open our app and start designing right away. All right, wait, before we do that, go ahead and hit that like button and leave a comment below, okay? The next video that you would like to watch on this channel, kindly comment it, all right? We'll make a tutorial for you, so don't worry. All right, let's go. All right, so here we are in a piece of lab. And the first thing that we need to do is to change the dimension of our workspace to be 908 by 1280. So let's go ahead and click on size, image size. Then we change it to 908, 908 by 1280. So we click OK. Alright, now we have our working space being set out. The next thing that we would like to do is to set the background color, which we will use okay so in this case i'll select gradient because i would like to work with gradients all right so i'll select this now if you don't know how to set this this is how it is done all right let's assume i don't have anything over here okay so once you select this you can just go ahead and bring it closer to the middle and bring this one to closer to the middle then they will become like this all right so this is how i've done it and you can also go ahead and do that thing it is very very simple that we can do it all right so let's click ok and here we have it all right now when designing at a point you will be like you would like to insert a picture all right so when you insert a picture it makes your work look nice depending on the title of your book okay so this book the title will be on the street of poverty okay so we select our test tool and click on edit then we go ahead and enter the test all right on the test which the test that we enter which is what on the street of poverty of poverty all right so this is our work on the street of poverty this is our book title so what we need to do is to make sure that we've used a nice font for it all right so in this case i'll be using Montserrat font which i have downloaded okay so when you are looking if you don't know how to install a font on Pizzle lab i have a tutorial on it and i'll leave the link below so that you can have access to it and go ahead and install a custom font for your Pizzle app okay so these are a few fonts that I have over here and I'm going to select Montserrat from it okay I downloaded it not long ago so I want to use it for this tutorial Montserrat that's Montserrat black I'm gonna use it. I wish I were the same. Making bad decisions, it should be my middle name. I love playing with fire. It's my favorite guy. On the street of poverty, okay? You can change the color of it. You can change the color of your test to whichever one that you like, okay? To something like this. It is not bad, okay? So even if we have this, we have. Our test over here we can enter the subtitle all right which can be uh, a life story of 
let me just put something over here as a side title of a guy who became a millionaire after several struggles. Okay, so this is our subtitle for the book. So we only need to make it kind of small, okay? Now there's something that I didn't tell you. Let me just uh, tell you right away. When you are designing your book or whichever design that you are working on, make sure that you leave a space around it. Okay, it shouldn't your head shouldn't go to the edges of your work. At least there should be some spaces. Okay, there is a reason for that. Every designer you are doing, make sure that there is a space. So make sure the book cover has space around it. Okay. Okay, so let's change this color to black. Okay, so right now we are going to insert a picture. So let's go ahead and click on import. So we are going to be making use of this picture, okay? This is a picture that we'll be making use of in our tutorial. So what we simply need to do is to reduce the opacity of the picture as we bring it down here. We reduce the opacity of it to make it look realistic. Okay. That's all. That's all. So once you are done with this, just go ahead and click on the save and save your work. But, but then you have to write the author's name on the book, which we can just write something like wisdom s a y or wisdom x y z wisdom x y z we assume that that is the person's name so we say wisdom s y z so we change the color to either yellow or white okay any color goes And then we change it to bold. Okay. And we do the size a bit. Then bring it up. Remember, it shouldn't go to the edges of your work. Very, very important. Alright. Let's reduce the size a bit. Okay, 28 is good. Okay, so right now you can go ahead and save the work. Okay. Let's go ahead and save it. So once you are done saving, you go to this website which is called smartmockups.com. Once the page loads, click on all mockups, okay? Once the page you just click on all more caps. Then from there you click on books. Okay, when you click on books, another page will load from which you can select book more caps. Then you work on your project. Okay. So we have three of them over here, and I will go with this one. Once you click on it, you only have to upload the image that you want to use as a mockup. Okay, so it is pretty quite pretty straightforward that you can use. So here is it. So we just have to click on upload from, upload from. That is the front cover. We just click on upload from. So upload image. Then we will be directed back to our our farm manager. 
then we select our work okay Let it now be just make using the fizzy lap, okay? Once this is done, we have to make sure that it is well fit into it. So this is one reason that's why you need to set you need some spaces around your work so that when you come here it doesn't disturb you. Okay. So after doing this, then we click on crop and continue. Once you've done that, you can see your book cover being mocked up. So you just click on download and click on a super high. After that, it will be downloaded. Then you can come back to Fizzle Up and work on it. So let's wait for it to be downloaded. Alright. Can go back to our Fizzle Lab and work on it now you can decide to change this the size of this work to be square okay because we are done with the cover already then we can go ahead and hide these layers on it because we don't need them right you can just go ahead and do that so the next thing we do is to import the image that we want to make use of So we click on import and import the image that we just downloaded which is our book mockup all right so here we have it here's our book mockup so you can also play around the background if you want okay if you want a different color at the background you can choose it over here okay Everything is now at your disposal. You can do whatever you want to do. Okay. So here it is. So once you are satisfied with a certain background of your work, then you can go ahead and save it. Okay. You can even use a texture as a background and you are good to go. Okay. This is how simple it is. Okay. You can use the gradient, anything I thought that you want to use, you can use it as a background of your work. Super, super easy, super awesome. You can do this within a few minutes. Okay, so let's assume this is what we want to use. Okay, so after doing this, you can just customize it a bit, then that's all. Alright, so guys, thank you for watching this tutorial, and please don't forget to subscribe for more videos to be uploaded. Alright. And also don't forget to comment your the next video that you would like to watch on this channel don't forget to comment it below all right so that we get to do a video for you like the one that you like then we'll do it for you all right